A flaring incident at the Chevron Richmond refinery is sending up huge black plumes of smoke. Our chopper is live over the Chevron Richmond refinery right now, which started flaring within the past hour. Contra Costa County Health tells us they are sending a hazardous materials team to check all this out. You can see there that black smoke and really intense flames. And believe it or not, this is actually a little bit better than it was about 20 minutes ago when as many as four of those towers were flaring and sending up that black smoke. Yeah, let's give you a little bit of a wider view. Smoke can be seen all across the Bay Area at this point. Health officials say there is no immediate health concern. We're going to track where that smoke is blowing in just a minute. But first, let's check in with Ann Makovic, tracking the very latest on what exactly is happening here. Ann. Well, we just got that statement from the Contra Costa County Health Department. They are now sending a hazardous materials team to the refinery to investigate. But at this point, no shelter in place order has been issued. This video posted on social media gives us a closer picture of what is going on there. This was at 410 this afternoon. You can see multiple flames and a thick black substance there coming out of the top of them, billowing over Richmond and the East Bay. And here is a look from our chopper above the refinery. This is what is known as flaring. Chevron says it started when they lost power to a portion of the facility in Richmond. Now, flaring is typically done for safety and to keep the refinery running, but it can obviously cause some concern, not only about the safety of the refinery itself, but also what this output is doing to the air quality here in the Bay Area. Now, the refinery sent out what it is calling a level one on its community warning system. They say that is just because of the visibility of this. Chevron says that everybody can go about their daily lives and that no action needs to be taken. They say they, they are monitoring the air quality in that area right now. Now, there was a major flaring incident at that refinery in October 2021. Chevron says the impact from a storm caused a fire and several days of flaring. We're going to keep you posted. Yeah, very disconcerting, Anne, when you see that black smoke there. All right, we're going to stay on top of it as we continue to look at those live pictures. We want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan. Paul, what can you tell us about the winds and how... What impact are they having to all that smoke? What's the air quality like right now? So far, air quality levels have not deteriorated significantly or on a widespread basis. I've been checking the maps from Purple Air and the official sensors from the EPA. And while we've seen a lot of moderate air quality levels across the Bay Area, it's largely due to the fires, the smoke from wood burning fireplaces that people are using over Thanksgiving weekend. So we'll wait and see if some of that smoke that's being sent into the atmosphere now settles down a little closer to ground level. And maybe we do see a deterioration of those air quality readings as we head through the next couple of hours. Some time lapse video from the Mark Hopkins Hotel looking towards that plume of smoke and you can see it just kind of hits a lid. It's what an inversion in the atmosphere does. So the temperature actually goes up as you go up in the atmosphere that basically puts a cap on how high the air can rise and you can just see the effect it has in that plume of smoke trapping it in the lowest levels of the atmosphere and increasing the likelihood that some of that does settle down towards ground level. Different perspective and this is the live view from San Rafael Hill looking to the east southeast and that flaring still sending up a significant amount of smoke but it's actually not as much as we are seeing even 30 minutes or so ago. Now the winds are blowing to the east southeast, blowing that out over the bay, but also blowing it in the direction of the southern end of Marin County and towards San Francisco. So the winds are fairly light, but you saw the direction that smoke was blowing from east to west towards some of the more densely populated parts of Marin County and of course San Francisco. So far, this is the latest air quality map from Purple Air, which these aren't the official sensors from the Environmental Protection Agency, but there are many more of them and they update much more frequently, so they're more useful in a scenario like this. And we're mostly seeing moderate air quality levels. That's in the yellow category with a few registering in the red. Those may be malfunctioning sensors or it might be the indication that some of that smoke is settling down towards ground level in southern Marin County. We're going to keep an eye on that map. We'll keep an eye on how much smoke that refiner is producing just on a minute by minute basis as we head through the rest of this evening. All right. Thanks, Paul. Adam Spring from Contra Costa County Health is on the phone right now. And Adam, uh, what can you tell us about this? It's very unusual to see four towers flaring at the same time. So what can you tell us? Well, we were notified by Chevron Richmond Refinery at approximately uh, 3.30 this afternoon uh, that they had an unplanned unit shutdown, that they had to send uh, some of this product uh, to the flaring system. And that's what you're seeing is burning off uh, some components of hydrocarbons. And, and, and go into a little bit what is actually in that thick black smoke that so many of us are seeing across the Bay Area. You mentioned that hydrocarbon. Well, what's actually in this? Um, you know, there, there's many breakdown components that can be a part of smoke. Um, but uh, at this point, you can't really 
you know, measure that since it's going to be in the atmosphere. But we are on scene uh, doing monitoring on the ground level to make sure that the community itself is not being impacted. And at this point, we have not seen any community impact due to the smoke. And we know once that smoke settles, though, that sm settles into the neighborhoods surrounding the Richmond refinery, how are you going to let the community know if indeed that smoke is on their property and could be a health risk? Currently, the smoke is not blowing towards uh, the Contra Costa County. It's moving actually to Marin, who we also um, notified, and then we will work with them with any communication that needs to be put out. So just for people who are watching this right now and seeing the images as they're looking out their window, and there's a lot of people that live right by that refinery, what can you tell them as far as the health concerns and the health dangers? Currently, we're just monitoring the incident. We don't have any uh, word to say that there's going to be causing a public health um, impact at this time. We're not issuing any public protective actions like a shelter or place or anything like that or evacuations at this time. So we will continue to monitor the event and change things as needed. And one last question, Adam, for those who are in the sensitive groups category and they start to feel the effects, can you give us some symptoms that folks should look out for if they could be seeing any side effects from this smoke? I mean, there are people that with, you know, sensitive um, respiratory conditions, and they usually will be able to um, kind of have those normal uh, respiratory symptoms that they can have due to particulate matter, and that they should uh, check with their doctor if they're having those type of symptoms. Okay, as we continue to get a live look from the Chevron refinery right there, you can see the flaring still happening. And uh, thank you very much, Adam Spring with the Contra Costa Health Department. And we're going to stay on top of this and bring you more updates as they come in.